Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you are doing fine. So today I'm back with an amazing podcast. We have a very special guest with us today, Charles Smith, who is an excellent author and a PTSD survivor. PTSD that is post traumatic stress disorder and we can say that he has been fighting this problem since his childhood. So today he'll share his story with us. Let's welcome Charles Smith. My name is Charles Smith. I'm a veteran and author and a lifelong, um, I've had PTSD for 40 something years, long-term addiction and recovery. Okay. Because like we have seen your Instagram and it's amazing how you like manage your feed and what you are doing. Thank you. Amazing. So yeah, we'll start with our session of today. So, like, where are you, like, currently living? Like, from which country are you? I'm in Massachusetts, uh, okay. USA. Yeah. Okay. So, like, as you just mentioned that you had PTSD for, like, many years. So, like, how was your journey? I've had PTSD since I was six. So, okay. that's 40, 42 years now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's compounded over time. Um, multiple, uh, multiple traumatic events and from civilian life and military life. Yeah. 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 So like, are Um, you still having problems? I think life is a problem at times. You know, I, I don't, I don't know anybody that doesn't have problems from time to time. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, uh, you know, like what's going on in the world right now with COVID, with Ukraine and all that, with PTSD, you don't have to be like take 9-11, for instance, what had happened in New York. Um, many people had PTSD yeah. that weren't mm-hmm. even in New York. Okay. You didn't have to be in the USA to have PTSD, PTSD from that. Right. Because what I've found, and I wrote a book on it, PTSD is fear. True. It's, um, you, you experience something like, I originally got PTSD because my mother's uh, overdosed when I was six years old. She... She passed away when I was only six. Mm -hmm. So that was my first traumatic event. My first um, scary event that happened in my life. And um, I, you know, that happened. And then my father died when I was 11. And then I've had over 20 20 significant people die in my life. I'm so sorry about this topic. What's that? I'm I'm so sorry talking about this topic, but like uh, for the people who don't know, PTSD is like post traumatic stress disorder, and basically yes. it's yeah. like just the like it doesn't matter you were in the traumatic situation or you hear about it from someone else, but like the fear that comes in your life in your mind that makes it difficult to live life normally. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yep. It um. You have triggers from PTSD, like uh, death for me is a trigger. Um, And then when I talk about other triggers, like I was attacked by a dog um, two different times in my life. And so now even my own dog, when she goes nuts barking, I get, you know, nervous. Yeah. Even though I know it's my own dog. You know, and that's that's a trigger, hearing a dog barking or seeing a, a dog coming at you. Um, I was in a tank explosion in the military. Okay. Yeah. So loud noises and the smell of diesel gasoline yeah. because it was a Bradley fighting vehicle that, that blew its top. Yeah. Those are both um, really bad uh 
um, triggers for me. And okay. I, I, was in, I was in Cuba for six months. Okay. Go ahead. So. Yeah, so like, have you tried taking any medical help, like from a doctor or psychiatrist? Yes. Yep. I, I see a psychologist okay. and a psychiatrist. Every the psychologist I see once a, mo- once a month still. Okay. And I see my psychiatrist for to get meds or if I need medication. But I, I like to, um, m- me personally, I like to uh, work with like meditation yeah. and coping skills like that instead of medication. True. But I do understand the need for medication. medication and some people do need medication and yeah so yeah but that's, like that's amazing if you are working on yourself and like meditation and coping skills because like that's the right. best thing you can do and you know like yeah. when someone hears your story and like if people will hear they'll be like oh my god people are suffering from a lot but when you are they can't be in your shoes so it's just you who are going through the stuff you are going through and, you know, like many times, does it happen with you? Like you just feel that, why me? Or like, why is it happening with me, not with other people? Oh, growing up, I really felt like that. Yeah. I felt like the world owed me. Like um, I was 11 when I was, when my parents were both gone. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I grew up a lot of the time. Um, feeling like the world owed me. I felt like alienated from the rest of society. Yeah. In school, kids would constantly, you know, I would get picked on because I was different. Yeah. Because I didn't have a, a mother or a father. But also because, um, you know, I, I was a shy kid. I just kept everything inside. And then that eventually turned into... Uh, Alcohol, drinking alcohol, and smoking marijuana like it was going out of style, and um, crack cocaine. And then I had my detox in basic training, um, army basic training, which okay. I don't recommend for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was it was really an eye opener, you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, I was. Yeah, when you go ahead. Yeah. So like, do you think that the problems you've had, like the PTSD, it affected your studies or like your major, like your job or your work majorly or like you were fine? No, it definitely affected everything in my yeah. life. Yeah. It affected my, my schooling. Yeah. Like I have a nine year old kid now and I tell him that I'm hard on him because of school. I wanted to get good grades because I, I missed a lot of that opportunity. Yeah. Because I was really, um, you know, not focusing on school. And I graduated with D's. I think they just wanted to get rid of me, so they graduated me. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, it's it, it affects your whole life. It does. Right. And, like, there are many people who are going through PTSD because of many reasons. So is there anything you want to say to them? Or like something from your own own experience which can help them? Learn, learn coping skills that work for you. Like um, I can I can teach somebody any coping skills that I have. Yeah. But if they don't work, if they don't work for you, then they're not gonna work. Yeah. You know, like um I do meditation, I do martial arts, I do this, I do that, but if that's not what you're into, find something that's fun. Find something that you're into. Um, a lot of people do meditation and yoga. Try that, you know, and see what see what you can do. But one thing I tell people all the time is I tried taking my life when I was about 20 years ago. Okay. When I was 20, uh, late 20s. Because my uncle and my grandfather died a month apart, and that really messed up my head. I became a carver, everything. But I tried taking my life with a bottle of sleeping pills. Now I have a nine-year-old son. You do the math. You know, if I if I 
was successful back then, my nine-year-old son wouldn't be here. Right. So always, no matter how bad things get, just, you know, there'll be another, there'll be another day. Yeah. Things will get better. I went from being a homeless veteran 10 years ago to I'm going to be buying my own house in a couple of months. That's and I have a full-time job helping people in addiction recovery and with PTSD. I'm a I didn't think any of that was going to be possible. So you can always better your life if you just hold on one more day. That's amazing. And like many people are Thank you. Like, if something is working with you, they just try the same thing on themselves. And when it doesn't work, so they are just like, you know, I, maybe they just need medications, but it's not true. Anything can work for you, which interests you or like which you are interested in. No matter it's yoga, workout, dancing, singing, you playing an instrument, whatever works for you, try it. Because like when mm. you tell your story to someone, like not yours, but like many people tell their story and they expect to get an answer which will help them. But that can't be the answer. No one can just say you something which will help you. You have to figure it out. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like... Like, just asking, like, does your son know that you have gone through a lot in your life? He does. Um, like, I, I tell he him. Back with that? He, he just, I don't think he understands a lot of it. Yeah. Because he's only nine. Only nine. Yeah. But um, he knows that daddy has been through a lot. And yeah. that daddy, um, you know, he's. A lot of people look at me as an inspiration, and he he knows that. That's yeah. Amazing. You when are, he gets older, I'm going to explain it better to him. Better to him. He's pretty young right now, yeah. Yeah. I just feel that you are very, very strong, that you have coped up a lot, and you are here making your life better, working on your life. People don't have Thank that you. much courage, and that's amazing. And I just hope the people who are going through PTSD gets to learn something from his experience and maybe your life becomes easier because I know it's not easy at all. Right. And yeah. And like, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. It was amazing. You're welcome. Is there anything you want to ask? Thank you. Yeah. Why do you do what you do? Okay. So like (laughs) exactly the scene is that I am collaborating with the brand Mental Curate. And I have like my separate page on Instagram. So like I study psychology. I'm doing psychology honors. So I left my home country for this subject. I I am from India and I'm recently in Australia. I really honestly love to hear people's story and know what they are going through just to understand the world better. And I'm just 19. Mm. I'm not that old. Yeah, Yeah, you look young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just want to hear it and understand people better so like I can contribute towards the world something. And mm. that can I only can do when like you know like making videos and like making these live sessions with people and posting them really helps. Many people text us that you know that was really helpful our life. You know we were easy. It was easy for us to make separate decisions. So yeah, that's the reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you so much for being here and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.